Hey guys, so it's officially been about one year since I told you guys I would film this makeup look that you guys asked me about at my Palm Desert shoot. I am finally doing it now that I am stuck here in quarantine. I am figuring out this whole video thing. Um, I'm pretty sure this video is really terrible. I promise I'll get better at it, but I just wanted to film this while I finally have the time. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will be linking all of the products that I use below. And if you have any questions, send me a DM or ask in the comments. Okay, so the first step to the process is I take my Floritin CF from SkinCeuticals. It's an antioxidant formula um, and it basically it plumps and hydrates your skin um, and keeps any free radicals from damaging your skin and it just makes you glow from the inside out. It's amazing. So I just, I think you're supposed to put it in your hands but I just put it on my face like this. And then pat that in my face and down my neck. This is so important for everybody to use, especially if you're in the sun. But we all need extra antioxidants because there are so many free radicals in the air um, from the sun, pollution, everything. And this helps your skin to be less affected and damaged by that. And then for moisturizer, which I use this day and night, I use the Skin Medica TNS Ceramide Treatment Cream. Um, I don't know. I have really, really sensitive skin and acne prone skin. So I try to keep all my skin products medical grade. And I only use what my esthetician recommends for my skin. So this is just what works for me. Um, you should really never be using skin products like from the drugstore or even Sephora most of the time. Like any cosmetic products are not the best for your skin typically. And then always use sunscreen. Um, this is the Color Science. I got this in a care package from the Skin Cancer Foundation. Work really closely with them with my nonprofit UV Radiance. So I always, always, always use sunscreens that only they recommend. They are the only organization out there that um, tests how well sunscreens actually do protect against your skin. So it's important to use products that are verified by them. And then last step to glow, I use the LC Glow Enhancer Dry Oil. I only use this um, really for photo shoots or any time that I'm gonna be taking photos, um, so like pageant or on stage, anything like that. It has like little um, gold flecks of glitter in there and you don't see it on your skin. Um, like you don't look like a big like glitter ball or anything, but it reflects so beautifully and makes my foundation just sink into my skin so much better. And it really does give you such a beautiful glow when your makeup is done. So I just kind of pat that all over my skin. For primer, my go-to is the Smashbox Minimize Pores Photo Finish Primer. It kind of is like a putty. If I can get it out, I'm like running low on this. Obviously, I use it a lot. It's kind of like a putty consistency. And it fills in my pores really nicely. I have really big pores right here. And so that's one thing that I want my primer to do. And it just kind of fills everything in. For foundation, I swear by this. I've probably been using this for the past five years since I discovered it. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Foundation. If you have oily skin or if you just like the matte look or your foundation to last literally forever, this is the best one. Um, it can be a little drying on your skin, so that's why it's really important to use this um, face oil. Synthetic brush will work. Really, I just do a tiny, tiny bit, less than a pea size, like that. Like that's literally all you need for your whole face. And this one is the shade... 
4.0, which is super yellow. I have a lot of really yellow undertones, so I like a yellow-based foundation. It also kind of helps to cancel out all of the blue and purple e tones under my eyes and around my eyes. You can see my veins, so it helps to cover up that. And even though this is a full coverage foundation, I do like to have more of a natural looking finish. So I use this um, little sponge from Real Techniques. I think it's like $5 at Ulta or at Walgreens or whatever. And it works exactly the same as a beauty blender in my opinion. So I just kind of press that into the skin and have it absorbs any extra product that I don't need. And then I use the holy grail of all concealers, which I'm sure you guys already use, the Tarte Shape Tape. I use the shade 22N Light Neutral. Um, it has a nice yellowy undertone. I don't like pinky tones, as I've mentioned before. And then I just really want to cover up my dark circles and brighten up my under eyes. So I kind of do like a little bit of a triangle shape. When I apply it but I blend it out more and then the nose I really don't need too much um, concealer besides under my eyes because that foundation is so full coverage you really don't need any besides for highlighting kind of do like a little thing here um, and I'm not gonna bring it down onto my nose to highlight for this look because I do want my freckles to pop a little bit and then I use this Real Techniques little brush here. It comes in a pack that's like eight bucks at Walgreens or Ulta. And then I always go back in one more time and just touch up right here because I have terrible under eye circles. And I always have since I was little. And then I blend it this time with my sponge. I'm getting kind of red because I'm nervous. <laughs> So next, I'm going to set my concealer with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is just my little mini travel size. And I'm going to use the same brush that I used to blend the concealer. And I just tap it in here and tap it under my eyes and bake. And I do set at kind of an angle because I like to have that cat eye angle with my eyeshadow. So it just helps to blend everything out. And then I put some on my chin and here for when I contour later. Hmm. And on my eyelids to prime for my eyeshadow. And then next I'm gonna do my brows before I move on to eyeshadow. Um, I use the Anastasia brow gel in the color soft brown. If you're blonde, you're supposed to go three shades darker. And if you are a brunette or have darker hair, you're supposed to go three shades lighter with your brows. I really don't get too crazy with my eyebrows. I just start here and kind of try to make it a little more angular. But I don't do all that crazy nonsense with the concealer and all that. I probably should, but I just don't. I don't have time for that. So I make it darker on the outside, kind of, and just angle my brow a little bit so I don't look like a baby. And a lot of times for photo shoots, I will go in a little bit more just to have more of a bold look. And then I just like kind of scrape like this to blend it. And then honestly, I just wipe this part with my finger. I know all of you 
eyebrow people are cringing at me right now, but this is just what I do. So to prime my eyes, I really like this Lorac eyeshadow primer. You can't even see the label anymore because I use it so much. Um, I always just use whatever primer like comes with the eyeshadow palettes that I buy, and I've always really liked this one. Okay, so now on to my favorite part for this look. I'm mostly going to be using the Too Faced Gingerbread Palette. It smells so good. And we're going to be doing a really um, orangey brown look. Well, the first color I'm going to use is In a Pinch. Right here. I really need to get my nails done. Whoa! And I just put that all over the lid. By the way, this is just, um, I don't even know what brand this is, but it's at Walgreens and it's really cheap and I love it so much. And I just kind of blend that all the way up to here, but I'm going to start blending a cat shape. And if you have a hard time um, naturally finding that angle, just kind of think from here to where your brow ends, but a little bit more exaggerated. That same color underneath and be really dramatic with it. It seems kind of crazy now, but once you have on lashes and eyeliner and mascara, it is not that bold. That's really, really important to get underneath the eye. Mm, you, you, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm making a makeup video, finally. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay, next I'm going to use this brown tone um, called For the Gram. You could, if you don't have um, an eyeshadow this color, you can just use your bronzer. I do that a lot. Most of my looks, um, I actually just do bronzer on my eyelids and that's it. Um, but for this look, I wanted to do some more orange colors and reds. And I'm just going to keep this up here and draw it out. Making that cat eye shape is the most important thing for this look. Just makes everything look a little more dramatic and sexier. And it also is going to make your eyes look more big and angular. And I really like that look. And I'm taking that same color and putting it underneath. Not going all the way in this time, but most of the way, like three fourths of the way in. And now I'm taking my favorite color of all time right now. It is called Gingerbread Glam. <laughs> and it is a really reddish dark brown. And this color just makes my eyes pop a lot, which I love, 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 love this color. And I'm going to try to keep it more on the outside in this V shape here. And then I'm taking the same color and putting it underneath and going in, kind of blending it in most of the way. To blend out my eyeshadow, I actually take my bronzer. So this is the Anastasia bronzing kit, um, but it's like real beat up. Because I travel with it everywhere. And I just take one of these lighter shades, so any light bronzing shade, and I take this morphe it's like a nose contour brush i just like barely tap it and i slightly contour the sides of my nose first and i just keep it really simple and just kind of go along the bridge of my nose and a little bit down here And then bring it up to the brow. And then with what's left over on my brush, 
well actually I take a little bit more and then I just blend all of this out with a bronzer and it just gives a really seamless blend and keeping that angled and don't worry about any of this stuff that comes out because once we take the powder off it'll all blend and then after that i go back in with the dark reddish brown shade I forgot what it's called gingerbread glam so i go back in with that again in the corners and just make it a little bolder And at this point, I make sure that I really sharpen this angle here for that cat eye look. My camera's kind of picking it up weird and it makes it look like it's not as blended as it really is. I don't know why. Okay, next I'm going to start bronzing and blending with the Anastasia Contour Kit that you cannot see. And I just take the darkest two colors and this fluffy brush and I mix them together and I start blending from my neck And then I'm going to be doing just a little bit of contouring with the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. And this is a small stippling brush, but it works amazing for powder contour. So I'm just going to dip a little bit in there. And I concentrate the darkest part um, closer to my ear and then just blend it in towards my mouth ain't gonna be a potato no more. Okay, so I'm taking this fluffy brush again and going back in with the Hula bronzer and just kind of blending everything out. I love to have a contoured look, but I also like everything to be blended. I don't like any harsh lines. And then next I am taking the Becca, Chloe, and Malika, I think that's how you say it, palette. I got this on Nordstrom Rack for like $20 and normally Becca is really expensive. And I'm taking this kind of orangey pink blush and then this rosy um, color blush and I'm mixing these two together and then placing that on the apples of my cheeks. And I do just a little soft smile. And then for this look, since I was outside in the desert and I wanted to have a little bit more of a sun-kissed look, so I am going to go back in with this color and take it in onto the bridge of my nose. And then just a tiny, tiny bit here for that little sun-kissed glow. And then I'm also going to use another blush. This is one that I've been using probably since I started doing makeup in like seventh grade. And it is the Cargo Blush in, it's the Cargo Waterproof Resistant Blush in the color Bali. And it looks like just a plain pink, 
but when you put it on i don't know if it's like the waterproof or whatever is in this but it has this really really beautiful reflective sheen so this i'm going to keep just right on the apples of my cheeks here and it just kind of lifts everything and gives you a nice glow Like I just barely use any, you can see what a difference that made. The next, my favorite part is highlighter. This is the MAC Whisper of Guilt Extra Dimension Skin Finish. I think this one was limited edition. Yeah, it was a limited edition one. But another one that I really like is their gold skin finish. I think MAC highlighters are like the absolute best of the best. And then I'm going to go back in with the same brush that I used for the concealer and the powder, tap off whatever is extra, and go in with this. And I like to blend it out a little bit for a more natural glow. And for this desert look, I brought it in a little bit more on my cheeks for that extra glowy sheen. Then I go in with it right here, a little on the bridge of my nose. And I do use the same brush and kind of blend this area here and brighten it up without putting a bunch of um, shimmer there because I do want to keep those brown tones. So this is a little trick that I do to kind of brighten up the eyes without adding much eyeshadow. And then taking the same two-sided brush, I'm going to use the little side and go in with this again in the corner of my eyes just a little bit for this look. Not too much. I wanted to keep it more smoky. So I'm going with just a little bit there and pop just a tiny bit under the brow. For the waterline, I am using Maybelline Eye Studio Eyeliner Gel in brown. And you can see I'm almost down to the bottom of it. I've been using this forever. And I'm just taking this little brush, any brush, any small brush is fine. And I put that inside my waterline here. Ooh, I hate when this happens. And it's important to get right underneath the lashes also because I am going to be putting lashes on and I'll be using a liquid um, eyeliner and I think this just goes the extra mile. And it seems like it doesn't make a difference but it really does, I promise you. And I am going to smear it a little bit in this outer corner. And then taking the same brush, I am going to go back in my gingerbread eyeshadow kit and take this bright magenta color, um, hot tamale, and then mixing it with cinnamon or cinnamon it's weird weird name so any like reddish brown or kind of purple tone color and i'm just putting that over the liner to set it so you can see it's really subtle but it did make a huge difference when it comes to popping the eyes. Next, I'm taking my liquid eyeliner. This is just the e.l.f. eyeliner in black. Um, it used to be a dollar online, but now I think Target sells it for three dollars. Um, really, any black liner is fine. You don't even see it that much. I just think it gives me that extra angle that I like when I put on the lashes. So I start by doing just a small little triangle here. Like that 
and then I try to make the line pretty much as thin as possible going into the corner of my eye. This is really hard to do on the phone. I'm actually looking in my phone. I've been like periodically glancing at a mirror right here, but I think it kind of looks weird when I do that. So I'm trying to do this in my phone camera. <laughs> And then I'm going to do a really thin wing to give my eyes that angle. So I start from here and I just angle it towards my brow. And I kind of squint a little, I don't know why, but it helps me. So using any mascara, I am just going to do the top and bottom lashes. And while my mascara dries, I'm going to do my lips. For this look, I just use the Neutrogena Lip Balm. Um, I can't really read this so to see the color. I think it is Healthy Blush, I want to say, but I'll link everything to this video. Um, it's just like a tinted chapstick, and this is all that I used. Last but not least, I'm going to put on lashes and I am using hair glue. It's super ratchet, but that's what I use. If you know, you know. So now I'm just going to set everything with the Scandinavia makeup finishing spray. I've been using this forever and I swear by it. It is the exact same thing as the Urban Decay All Nighter, except this is the original formula and it is way cheaper if you order off their website. So I'm gonna spray my face. And so this is the finished look. I use this for my desert shoot and I also use the same look for a lot of other things. I really like it and it looks good on everybody. So I hope this video wasn't too ratchet for you guys and you enjoyed it. I'll be linking all of the products that I use. And if you have any questions, just send me a DM or um, ask your question in the comments below. Thanks.